Hi friends and welcome to another fun video. Today I will use Dynamo to place out a Revit family at specified points in my Revit project. This family will operate as a reference object for when I'm placing out my advanced retaining wall in a later video. Let's open up the reference object family and load it into the Revit main project, making it accessible from Dynamo. It's a pretty basic object without any concern for the rotation, making Dynamo script a bit easier to create. We open up Dynamo and continue from a script I have previously created the link in the description. The script imports Excel coordinates and creates points within Dynamo. What I would like to do is place my reference object family at the start and end, taking the first coordinate and the last coordinate in the Excel file, marked in, ye in yellow. So let's get starting with the script. We uh, search for the node list first item. Basically fetches out the first item in my point by coordinates list. Also want the last item on the list, add the node list last item. We continue to put the first item and last item together with list create and connect the nodes. We hit run and see what we get. Yeah, it seems about right. Got the last item and the first item. Now we have the coordinates where I would like to place my family. The next is to place out the family. First, need to specify which family we would like to place out. We're doing that with the node family types. We search for it and press it and find it. We check out the reference object, what it is called. We then go back to Dynamo and find the family in the drop down menu for the node family types. Next is the actual placement of the family in Revit. We search for a node family instance by point. We connect the nodes and hit run. So we see that two objects have been created. We go to the Revit uh, main project and observe. And yes, it's perfect. The object is placed at the start and the end, just like we wanted. That is the end of this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.